Hello. Today, this is Prof. Joe. Today we're going to talk about uh, curvilinear motion with polar coordinates. And this video is going to be an introduction where I talk about a couple of the tools we're going to use in the derivation. The next video will be the derivation of equations that are going to be very useful in solving a lot of uh, problems. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the very first tool that we need is basically the product rule, but we're going to use it for three terms. And this may be something that you've seen before. So the product rule basically says that if you take the derivative of uh, two functions, let's just say uh, u times v, and we're going to do with respect to time because that's a lot of what our derivation, that's a lot of what our derivatives are right now in dynamics. Uh, that's just equal to um, the derivative of u with respect to t times v plus u times the derivative of v with respect to t. Okay. Now what happens if we add in a w? So we have the derivative of u times v times w. Three things multiplied together with respect to time. Well, how we're going to solve this is simple. We're just going to First, we're going to treat v and w like a single term. And we would do the same thing we did up there. We'd have the derivative of u with respect to time multiplied by v multiplied by w. We add on to that u multiplied by the derivative of v times w dt. And you can see now, we just have another product rule to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that one. Okay, we have the first term, du dt times v times w, plus now we're going to have u times the derivative of v with respect to time times w plus u, this one, times v times the derivative of w with respect to t. Okay, so the way I like to look at this is if you take the derivative of three terms, you're going to have the derivative of the first multiplied by the other two plus the derivative of the second multiplied by the other two plus the derivative of the third multiplied by the other two. So that is one of the tools we're going to use in our derivation. We have one more that I'm going to introduce in this video. The second tool that we're going to use is really just a repeat from the one we used in normal tangential, and that's the arc length. So uh, if I'm using the different um, unit vectors that might seem unfamiliar, but just think of them as a vector. I'll introduce these unit vectors in the next video. So we have a unit vector here, and we have another unit vector a little bit later. And you can see this vector it would be the change, the change. And that change for really small angles is going to be very close to the arc length. Now that's supposed to look like an arc, but picture an arc connecting those two. That arc length is just going to be the change in angle times the, the length of that vector, the radius. That's what we learned with arc length. And of course, the radius is 1. So that tells us that for small angles, uh, we expect that a small change in theta is equal to in magnitude to a small change in our, unit, in our r vector, dur multiplied by 1, and 1 we don't need to add. And the other piece of information is that a small change of that vector is going to be that magnitude d theta, but which direction is it pointing? And we can see the direction is perpendicular to our ur, and we'll learn in the next video that that would be in the u theta direction. Okay, let's move on to the derivation video.